please also give millions to charities in your name, for your glory, and for tax exemptions. No rewards in heaven will await you if you do not do this in the name of Yahushua. If you do not do this as a child of Yahushua, your good works follow you to heaven only after you have accepted Yahushua as Messiah and strive to obey Him and love Him first in your life. And only when you do this for Yahushua's glory and for the sake of the kingdom of heaven will it stand. To all those that are heathen and refuse Yahushua as Messiah, refuse to obey my Ten Commandments, any good works you do, no matter how many millions you give in, will not buy you a home in heaven. Again I say, your good works will be remembered no more, and you will reside in hell along with the heathen poor. I have given this handmaiden, speaking forth, this promise, in the glimpse of her rewards. Now the same promise I give to you who are partners in this ministry, laboring with this ministry as you sacrifice your tithes and offerings with them. This is a reminder of where you are storing your treasures. All of you will stand together and share the same rewards in heaven. The greatest reward I showed my apostolic prophetic handmaiden, Apostle Elizabeth Elijah in a vision, will be meeting and embracing all the souls around the world who have been blessed through this ministry and heard the secret truths I, Yahweh, have revealed. Did you not wonder why you have witnessed so many times to others about the saving blood of Yahushua? And you knew you spoke under the anointing and authority of Yahushua, and yet you were rejected, insulted, and mocked? Now you understand in a way you have not understood before. You see a man due to be ordained before the world, boasting how he is a homosexual and proud of it. You see him put up as a spiritual leader behind a church pulpit. But I, Yahweh, tell you this, all who condone this abomination, all who remain silent or even call themselves by that denomination's name, your name will not be found in the last book of life. It was already predestined long ago. I, Yahweh, first created Adam and Eve as male and female, and this is a mockery of marriage, and I, Yahweh, will not be mocked. All of you people, pastors, spiritual and political leaders who remain silent or change my laws will feel the wrath of Yahweh in a way you have not known before. Be not deceived. Same-sex marriage I have not decreed. How long will you continue to mock I, Yahweh, America? Whoa, whoa, whoa be unto you, America. You have done and will do what no nation on the face of this earth has yet done. Did I, Yahweh, not prophesy through this handmaiden, Elizabeth, America? I, Yahweh, saved the worst for last, for you. California, do you not feel the heat of my anger as I, Yahweh, fanned the flames with my breath and blew flames on you? Phoenix, Arizona, did I, Yahweh, not warn through my prophets you would burn? Still, how few repented. Your political leaders pass law defying I, Yahweh, once again. Even as this is written, they debate when to strike out the word God from your currency, pledge and rewrite the Constitution, while stripping my Ten Commandments from public view. All those who have done this, or not protested, or not prayed and wept against this, know this. You have been tested as in Ezekiel 9. I, Yahweh, wrote the Ten Commandments on a tablet of stone. Now your hearts are hardened like unto a stone. You were a rebel before the foundation of the earth, and you have not changed. All those who do not weep and protest against abortion, you are a rebel also and have not changed, and can only change depending on the choice you made in the battle, good versus evil before the foundation of the world. All those who promote homosexuality, boast, flaunt, participate, or teach others, this is only another alternative lifestyle, teach others they were born this way, this is a lie of Satan, and you who refuse to repent, you are a rebel, and you have not changed, you will reap what you have sowed before the foundation of the world. I am Yahweh, the creator of creations, you rebels who are like unto a Judas, you rebels worship the creation, and worship created objects, you rebels refuse to obey I, Yahweh, and Yahushua before the foundation of this earth, and now you refuse to obey Yahweh and Yahushua today. I, Yahweh, have a warning to all the political and 
and spiritual leaders who refuse to speak out against and vote against what you know my holy scriptures condemn as an abomination and sin. You have compromised with Satan. You betrayed I Yahweh before the foundations of the earth, and you betrayed I Yahweh now. Take your comfort now in your wealth and possessions, for truly that is the only comfort you will have for all eternity. Your next bed shall be in hell, in the lake of fire where worms shall be your sheets and maggots your blankets. You worldly musicians, Satan has given you the gift of deceiving people in what is called music. Ah, Yahweh, bless some souls who I created with a beautiful voice and musical talents. When I gave this gift, I intended it to be a blessing unto Ah, Yahweh. Then you betrayed Ah, Yahweh before the foundation of the world. And now the majority use these gifts to glorify Satan, to lose souls to a spiritual sleep, to plant demonic spirits deep within to lead people astray with the hypnotic voice and the satanic beat. Some of you who call yourselves musicians do not even realize what Satan is doing and how Satan has used you. If you don't repent, you shall dance at the tune of Satan's feet, and together with him you shall be tortured in the lake of fire that is oh so deep, the suffering you cannot begin to conceive. A warning to most actors and musicians, you sold your soul for Satan's promise of fame and fortune. You signed Satan's contract and made a deal. Now your sinful lifestyle to the world you fly your body, boast and reveal. In homosexuality, you no longer try to hide and conceal. Mock now, pay later, for you will feel I Yahweh's great wrath very shortly. Know this, all human creation. Know that I Yahweh and my beloved son Yahushua at our thrones all shall bow and kneel. All souls were created and tested at the same time. Only the souls that were loyal and fought against Lucifer before the foundation of the world now carry the redemption seal. This is the truth I am using my daughter and handmaiden to reveal. What Satan has tried to hide and conceal, all those with spiritual ears to hear and spiritual eyes to see will hear I, Yahweh's voice, for you are my sheep. You will no longer be blinded to the truth. All souls as once were rebels will again and remain spiritually deaf and blind and continue to follow Satan's path by swallowing Satan's lies. To those of my children who have prayed and wept and wondered why I, Yahweh, allowed these abominations, I remind you again, judgment starts at the house of I, Yahweh. Study Ezekiel 9, which one are you? The good versus evil battle is again being played out on earth as it was done in heaven before the foundation of the earth. Every soul created was tested. Only if you were loyal with the battle with Lucifer will you accept my son Yahushua now on earth as Messiah and God. The first battle was in the spiritual realm in heaven. Now you battle Satan and his servants now here on earth using Yahweh and Yahushua's spiritual weapons that I, Yahweh, have given you in the name of Yahushua through the shed blood of Yahushua. I, Yahweh, sent my holy ones to fight on top of hell, to fight against Satan and all that is unholy, to be a witness for Yahweh and Yahushua's glory, and to prove my children are more than conquerors to Yahushua HaMashiach, the name and the blood of my only begotten Son. Many say they care, but how few prove they care. I told this handmaiden when she and her husband were praying and asking me why the majority of the people who say this ministry and the prophecies and teachings I, Yahweh, speak forth as a blessing, and yet Betty don't do anything to help lift the heavy load or be a blessing in any way. I speak this through her again. You must put action behind your words. You must not only say you care, but prove you care. Rebuke and warn those who do abominations, and love and support those who are putting action behind my holy words. Faith without works is dead. Woe be unto a creation who doesn't worship the creator of all. Only the potter has the authority to destroy his clay vessels. Some vessels were created to bring me glory. Some were only fit for destruction. Look around you. Even the sun explodes with my fiery rage like never before. I sent my holy angel to this handmaiden months ago with this prophetic message. As my holy angel dictates to her while standing beside her bed, she wrote this prophetic message down, where I share a secret yet untold until now. My holy angel told her, now is not the time to release this message, 
for was for an appointed time. Now is that time to reveal what was concealed. I tell my secrets to my apostles and prophets, and all who will listen. I, Yahweh, sealed it as she couldn't read her own handwriting, except one part, which is, my greatest army is not registered on earth, but is registered in heaven. This handmaiden is sent out now and released now as Ezekiel 9, to seal with this word to those who are marked with the seal of protection. And a fine linen garment that is worn stands for the righteousness of my son Yeshua. The appointed day is the day before a homosexual is ordained from hell as a bishop in the Episcopal Church. I speak these secrets and warn once again, come out of the churches of Babylon, flee the churches of Babylon.